Paul Wesley makes his debut as Captain Kirk on the season finale of Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Trek fans know Kirk by way of William Shatner on the original Star Trek series of the 1960s, while a newer generation got their introduction to the character from Chris Pine in the J.J. Abrams Trek films. Wesley has done a series of postseason finale interviews about introducing his James T. Kirk into Star Trek Strange New Worlds. He talks about how he approached the role and how he'll be a different Kirk in season two. Here's a gist of everything he said in various interviews. Also, beware of spoilers. Emulating Shatner or Pine. Blasphemous. The Vampire Diaries star took on the daunting task of playing the iconic James T. Kirk. In all of his interviews, Wesley made it clear he and the showrunners agreed to not try to emulate either performance. In an interview with Variety, he talks about paying respect to the character and not trying to imitate something you cannot touch. Wesley drew a contrast to Shatner and Pine, saying he is approaching the role in line with how other actors on Strange New Worlds have taken on classic roles. We just remind people that it's not William Shatner. This is a whole new look. It's a whole new Spock. It's a whole new Uhura. It's a whole new Kirk. It's a new Pike. They're old characters interpreted in a new way. What is most important is to pay respect to the integrity of who Kirk is. His wants, his needs, his deep desires, his morality, his spontaneity, his instinct. A looser Kirk in season two. In the season one finale, Wesley appeared as Kirk in an alternate timeline when he was captain of the USS Farragut instead of the USS Enterprise during the events of Balance of Terror. However, the showrunners have already revealed that in season two, he will be playing a young Lieutenant Kirk on the Farragut, back in the main timeline of Strange New Worlds. Wesley explained to EW how this younger Kirk is different. Kirk is not captain of the Enterprise. Kirk is captain of the Farragut. Kirk has never met Spock. He's never met Uhura. He hasn't gone through all the things that the original Kirk has gone through. So, in a way, it allowed me to, I'm not going to say whatever I wanted, but it's a looser interpretation, right? We're not sticking to a regiment. So it was a little liberating, because I didn't have as much pressure. I can't talk about season two too much, but it's a little bit more in line with a Kirk that we know, but it's pre-Enterprise. The most important thing is, to answer your question, is to maintain that sense of Kirk having this incredible gut instinct that he relies on that is preternaturally accurate in a way, a morality, courage, charm, humor. We don't get to see as much of that humor in the season one finale because there's something very intense happening. Season two, we get to explore a little bit more of Kirk. It is still Pike's show for now. Bringing Kirk onto a show that already includes other legacy characters introduces the idea that Strange New Worlds could become a new version of Star Trek the original series. Wesley made it clear to Cinema Blend that this show is still about Pike. Season 2 is still Pike's show. It's Pike and Spock and Uhura. It's pre-Kirk Enterprise. Everything that happens, Kirk is part of that timeline. It's just not Kirk's show. That's just not what this is.